All right, I have another caption contest results video here for you. So this is the image. This was taken during a Packers game here at our place. And you see me in my shirt. And then I've got some snacks, you know, some ham and cheese and pickles and olives there. And that is Sassy the cat who jumped up on my lap and then jumped up on the chair. And she is sniffing at a piece of cheese, but she also, you know, absconded with a bit of ham during that time. So I put this out there and we got a lot of good captions for it. I picked the top 10. Before we get into the top 10, there are some, let's call them honorable mentions that have to do with uh, some puns. There were several that basically made the same pun. Doc to his wife, no honey, I said, charcuterie, not chat couterie. Chat is, of course, you know, French for cat. And then there's charcuterie and charcuterie board deluxe. Now, the, the top 10 included a few puns, and here's one of them. One must imagine sassy puss happy, right? So this is from uh, a reference to Albert Camus' famous line in the myth of Sisyphus. I think one one of those lines that a lot of people who've never read the book know, and they, they use that, we must imagine Sisyphus happy, so we must imagine sassy puss happy. Uh, there's another good pun right here. This is a Nietzsche reference. The world is the will to meower and nothing besides, of course, a reference to Nietzsche claiming that the world is the will to power, and so that's pretty good. And then we get into some other quips that I thought were good. This is a really good one. Greg, I wasn't finished with. Cat, you're finished with that, meaning that she's going to take it no matter what. And here's a somewhat longer one to be read in a Steve Irwin voice. So I'm going to try to do my, my best. Here in the central part of Wisconsin, we see the remnants of what used to be the prestigious Egyptian cat. It's not very good at all. What used to be a symbol of royalty and godhood has now succumbed to feasting on the everyday treats of the common man. Just look at that fierce gaze as it stares down the pickle on the right. Not, not bad, right? And then here's, here's some Hegel ones. Now, this is coming from Hegel's Phenomenology of Spirit. Even the animals are not shut out from this wisdom, but on the contrary, show themselves to be most profoundly initiated into it, for they do not stand idly in front of sensuous things as if these possessed intrinsic being, but despairing of their reality, completely assured of their nothingness, they fall to without ceremony and eat them up. And they're sassy doing precisely that, eating my, my ham, turning it into nothingness. Then we have another shorter one. In a brash display of self-consciousness, Gregory ob quietly observes as the feline flips the master-slave dialectic on its head. Actually, it wouldn't be flipping the master-slave dialectic, in part because the slave provides the master with the things that they consume, and the master doesn't really do much of anything other than, you know, remain the master. And we provide Sassy with all sorts of nice things, and she doesn't, you know, other than like being a cat and being comfy and purring and all, you know, being cute. She doesn't really do anything for it. So, uh, but you could say it is flipping the master slave dialectic in that we treat our, our pets as akin to servants or, you know, something like that. Now here's a, a switch, uh, referring to Schrodinger's cat. If you don't know about that experiment, you know, there's the chance that the cat is alive. There's also the chance the cat is dead. There's a, you know, it has to do with a radioactive isotope and you don't know until you open the box. So this is playing off of that. Here we have a scientist observing Schroding Schrodinger's noms, tasty things. Do the cat snacks exist? Or don't they? But we actually see that they exist because they're right in front of us at the time. Here's a, another one that references the care of the self. Sassy defines the care of the self as the intentional and voluntary actions by which she sets rules of conduct to transform herself and change her singular being by eating all your hors d'oeuvres. So this is referencing Foucault's notion of care of the self. And, you know, cats... Do they transform themselves? Do they develop virtues? Do they 
think about how can I become a better cat and move towards my cat nature? Probably not so much, but she will in fact eat the hors d'oeuvres, at least the cheese and the ham. Here's another one. Greg may be a student of stoicism, but clearly he is no match for Sassy, the cat who has mastered the wisdom of Epicurus. Epicurus was, of course, well known for enjoying cheese in his garden. Um, you know, being a student of stoicism, I don't think keeps you from being robbed of your, your food necessarily, or, you know, but it, it could help you be willing to share your food, especially with a beloved cat like that. And finally, we have uh, one that's referencing what's going on here in, in Wisconsin. Cat, sure hope the Packers make it to the Super Bowl. I bet the pickings will be top notch. And that's probably true. Uh, as I say this right now, we are just before the championship game for the National Football Conference. And if we win that, that is the, the Packers win that, we go on to the Super Bowl. And then we might have some uh, some better snacks that Sassy would really enjoy. Um, she doesn't care about the football at all, but, you know, we do. So, yeah, there you go. Those are the 10 best captions on this caption contest. I'll do more of these in the future so you can stay tuned. And uh, thanks for submitting them, everybody. And uh, that's pretty much it.